Florida is gearing up for what could be a massive evacuation not seen since 2017 as Hurricane Milton strengthens over warm waters. Early Monday morning, Milton was about about 220 miles west-northwest of Progreso, Mexico, and 770 miles of Tampa, Florida, with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour while heading toward major Florida population centers including Tampa and Orlando. About 7 million people were urged in 2017 to evacuate Florida during Hurricane Irma. The exodus jammed freeways and led to hours-long lines at gas stations. It also left evacuees frustrated and, in some cases, vowing never to evacuate again. Building on lessons learned from previous storms, Florida is staging emergency fuel and charging stations for electric vehicles along evacuation routes. The strikes by the security service of Ukraine drones on airfields and warehouses with guided aerial bombs cabs, leave Russian troops without key weapons. Ukrainian political scientist Taras Zagorodny wrote about this, commenting on the successful strikes by drones of security service of Ukraine on warehouses with cabs at an airfield in the Voronezh region. The expert emphasizes that Ukrainian drone strikes on Russian territories have become regular. This not only transfers the war to enemy territory, but also affects the situation at the front. Even Russian military experts have acknowledged that after the drone strike of Maluk's team on ammunition depots, their supplies to the front line have decreased. We failed to protect the depots. Now we have problems with supplies to the front line. This is the general tone of publications in the Z networks of Russian telegram channels. Zagorodny emphasizes. The strikes of security service of Ukraine on the airfield and warehouses with cabs leave the Russians without key weapons. It is obvious that each cab destroyed on the ground is a bomb that did not fall on our positions at the front, did not destroy another residential building in Kharkov, Zaporozhye or in the Donbass. The political scientist believes. The expert emphasizes that blowing up warehouses significantly undermines the enemy's morale. They know where they will hit, but they are not capable of repelling a massive drone attack. In a word, demilitarization is going according to plan, but they are demilitarizing the Russians. Zagorodny summarizes. Let us recall that it was previously reported that on the night of October the 2nd to the 3rd, drones of the Security Service of Ukraine, the Special Operations Forces and other Defense Forces attacked warehouses with cabs, parking lots for Su-35 and Su-34 aircraft and storage areas for aviation fuel at the Borisoglebsk military airfield in the Voronezh region of the Russian Federation. It was from here that the enemy actively bombed our cities and villages with cabs. Recall that the Russian researcher has possibly managed to improve guided aerial bombs by increasing their range up to 80 kilometers. This poses a threat to Ukraine's civilian population. Serhi Bratchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Volunteer Army South, noted that such strikes are purely terrorist, aiming to pressure and break the civilian population. Unfortunately, the enemy has the tools for such strikes and continues to improve them. The enemy, unfortunately, is improving their weapons today, practically implementing the formula of converting high-explosive aerial bombs into guided ones. Using changes in tactical and technical characteristics and universal modules 
for planning and correcting fire, they are definitely capable of reaching a distance of up to 80 kilometers, commented Brattrook.